I want people to become part of the solution by becoming more informed. Of those who do fail, the vast majority of those don't fail with an act of sexual criminality. They fail because of other mental health issues for which either they're getting no treatment or inadequate treatment, or they're simply not at a place where they're ready to receive treatment. And I'm speaking of drug addiction, alcoholism, attention deficit disorder, and a host of other disorders, including personality disorders. For a lot of men, those mental disorders prohibit them from ever being successful unless they get treatment for those specific disorders. The problem with a lot of sex offender treatment is that it's standardized and it's sort of a one-size-fits-all. And sex offenders, like everyone else in treatment, need an individualized course of treatment specifically tuned to them. For some, group may be the, the ultimate. In fact, for the majority, group is likely going to be the ultimate in terms of treatment modalities. For others, individual treatment is absolutely essential and group might be avoided. For uh, still others, a combination of that. And for still others, group therapy, individual therapy, and or alcohol abuse groups or drug uh, rehab groups or other kinds of therapy for other kinds of needs.